Our third day of 18 in 2018 is going to focus on cleaning up our sequence executor window, commonly referred to as our queue list view. If you've never moved these cells around, this video is for you. As always, let's start with backing up our show and renaming it to reflect the day. If you don't have the show file, take a second to download it from the link in the YouTube description or at my website, consultrainer.com. If you're working in on PC with me, I'll primarily be working with screen 4, but you can open up a sequence executor on any window you like. Make sure that you're on page 1 and select the queue list on executor 15 called simple so that we can have something to look at. All of these columns can be resized and moved around simply by clicking and dragging. Any changes that you make to the columns here are saved to these sets at the top of the screen. Think of them like views within a view. They're quick links to five different ways you can organize your queue list. Your edits are always being saved to whichever set is highlighted. Let's all work in set one today. While there's no right or wrong way to prioritize your columns, some are pretty basic and important, like queue number, name, trigger, fade, and delay time, so we might want to leave them at the start. I am, however, going to change their size to make reading the info more efficient. Now I want to move a couple columns over. I'm bringing over the info column because I like to have notes on queues separate from their name. Sometimes I put follow spot notes in here, but it can be whatever you like. I also want to bring over the command column. This looks pretty good for set one. Of course, there's lots of other columns that might be useful to you. So if you'd like to make another version, click on set two and organize any way that you like. Perhaps you wanna see loop information or play with fade and delay times. Lastly, just like with our color coded layouts, you can choose to color code your cues. To do this, click the assign key three times and then either type in Q followed by the number of the queue, or just click on the queue in this window. In the new window, select a color, but keep in mind that the text will be white, so make sure it's a color that allows you to still read the text. I don't recommend color coding every queue, but it can be handy to highlight one for whatever reason now and then.